Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today I'm going to be talking about an accelerated sales system that we use. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I'm here with Simon Polito from American Auctions. And today we're going to talk a little bit about an, a program that I've used uh, with Simon through our company here, which is an accelerated sales system. Now, Many times people hear the word auction mm -hmm. and they have a negative connotation to it. So that's why we think of it as more of a, an accelerated sales system Correct. within this. Okay. So Simon and I have done several of these auctions yeah. together and we wanted to share with you kind of what that entails, what that looks like, so that if it's something that you or someone you know might be a good fit for, that uh, you can pass this information along. Absolutely. So Simon, what are some range of types of properties that might be a good fit for this. We've been very lucky and worked on every type of property, be it vacant land, multi-family units, uh, multiple commercial units as well, and then obviously the single family residences and luxury homes. It works on all different types. It's not one that's specifically catered to. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, um, is there a particular person or situation that might be a good candidate for something like Absolutely. this? Absolutely. It, it, it works for everyone. A lot of people think that they're only suited to people who are in distress or foreclosure or that type of scenario with banks involved. It's not the case. It does work on every type of seller. It works exceptionally well though in trust sales, uh, probate sales, divorces, those types of scenarios as well because it does allow the market to give fair market feedback on the property. And then that way, then it removes any negativity when people are arguing over what price they should set it at and take. Right. And one of the things I really love about it is that the sellers really know that they're getting the highest dollar value in today's market. Correct. Because we give the property full exposure time. Uh, it, it's not something where we're just trying to sell it in three days. Correct. We are giving full marketing exposure. We're giving the market full time to come and view the property. There's a lot of feedback involved. There's a lot of communication between yourself and the sellers and, ours, and ourselves as well. So it's a whole teamwork that goes into this. It's a very streamlined program, very direct, and it's quite intense. It's a lot of work for Melinda as well. But it's a very quick one-month program that gets very good results and, like Melinda says, the best out of the market at that time. Now you mentioned a one month program. What's the general time frame once someone decides to go ahead with this process? Yeah, it, again, so it's, it's one month of advertising. We normally have a five to ten day period of due diligence before we go live. That period of due diligence is to do a home inspection, termite report, seller's disclosures, NHD, prelim photography, flyers, any type of pre-marketing you wanted to set up as well. So when you go live on the MLS, it's go time. You have your two open houses per week for one hour, and on the fourth week we have a live auction on site. Right, and, and they've been very successful. Very, very successful. For sure. Are there any negative sides to this? Absolutely not. It's the best way to sell real estate. I mean, I get a lot of people ask me all the time, what's the pros and the cons? I truly can't think of a con. It, it, it gives so much transparency to everybody involved, and it allows us all to make an educated decision as to where we see value. So when we do our feedback and we compare it to the offers received, we can make an educated decision, not just hoping that this is the best or the worst offer received. Absolutely. And what are some of the pros? Look, a lot of the pros are, like I said, the transparency, the seller controlled open houses that you're at yourself, showing, meeting everybody yourself. Uh, it's a high closing rate. Because we do the due diligence up front, that's a huge thing. We don't have any properties fall out of escrow because we've done all that work before. The offers are generally non contingent, which is huge. Um, it, and that in turn accelerates the whole process. So basically, uh, what he means non contingent, he's saying that. When that buyer buys that property and we agree upon a price, that means that there's no more negotiation. Correct. Nobody's going to come back to you and ask for whether Sell it's $500, yeah. whether it's $10,000 for some major repair or whatever. That stuff's all been negotiated up front and taken into consideration. Correct. Yeah, we, we have to have, we had one on property last week where there was a $10,000 termite issue. The seller didn't want to pay for that. We sold the property as is, and the buyer knew that when they made their offer, and they're taking on that $10,000 termite issue. Right. And I know that we've sold a property that mm. had some issues itself, um, had some potential, seemed like it was some potential foundation issues or things like that. We had it all investigated up front, so then when we had all of our buyers there, they were willing to accept Absolutely. the property as is. It's just about showing everyone all the unknowns that they would ordinarily get after the fact, which generally upsets them and makes the deal fall apart. Right. By showing them up front, they're much more comfortable with you and the process, and they're more comfortable moving forward with a, with a good, strong offer. Right.
Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends and thanks again. See ya.